Graeme Rowntree, if you're not blown away there by the gusts, great to have you with us. You must be delighted with that. Couldn't have gone much better. Yeah, yeah. What, what a night. What a, I said to lads before the game, enjoy this. It's special moments playing in these games. And then we played well the first half in particular. I thought the balance to a game, a lot of guys put their hands up, played exceptionally well. But now a famous night for us. I'm so, so pleased for the lads. It's going to give us a real shot of adrenaline going forward. Oh yeah, rang you a long time ago, Graham, about uh, yes. defensive malls. Yes, I was yes, obsessed with it, and I said the man for the job to give me all his information <laughs> is Graham. How proud are you of how they defended that South African mall tonight? Yeah, yeah, we weren't, we, we weren't perfect, but no, we, we, we dealt with it pretty much uh, as, as we would have liked. The thing is with the South African teams, you know what's coming, but dealing with it is another matter. And uh, no, I'm, I'm so proud of them. It was interesting listening to Paddy Patterson in his interview. He was saying we had a sense of tonight was a shot to nothing, there wasn't a huge pressure on us. I was surprised to hear that. I thought the team would be feeling the pressure of the occasion. What was your read on the mood of the dressing room in advance of this game? Pressure's everything in sport. You know, look where we've come through the first block of games. It's not been ideal for us, but this is a, a chance to go out and test yourself against class international opposition. And right from the get-go, I mean, that, that fella, he was just, he was our uh, barometer of energy, wasn't he? He was like a little jack-in-the-box. So the, no, the, they went out there and we played. I'm just really pleased with the balance of a game, how we played that game. Plenty of good attacking play as well, and these exactly. are not easy conditions. Yeah. I mean, we saw some really good shape, we saw some tries out wide. This wasn't pick and go and try and score from close range, although one of those tries were in there as well. You need a bit of both. You've got to have, you've got to have everything available, but no, as I keep saying, in. You know, hard conditions. We went out there from the get-go and our intent was good. We wanted to play. I, um, I always know what you do before a game. Uh, playing like that in the first half, going in second half, I was just going to the players. Oops, sorry. So put, oh, yeah, I wonder know. why you kept touching me there, CJ. Just say lift my microphone up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it, it was pretty much more of the same. Uh, keep, keep our energy going. Uh, we knew we were going to turn around, play into the wind. So our uh, kicking game had to be smart and we had to be uh, manage that. But, uh, you know, the yellow card didn't help us and uh, a bit of indiscipline creeping back into a game there. So it's another warning for the lads from me next, next, next Monday. But, uh, you know, you can't take it away from the occasion. The people have turned out, sold out within hours. They come and support us. It's just been brilliant for the club. Yeah. Uh, that second half, there was a degree of, as Fiona mentioned, defending, making the tackles, yeah. being organised, communication. They never looked overly troubled. I don't know how you felt watching it. Oh, I was a bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that, that's, that's our DNA. He'll, he'll know that on our, on our own try line. Um, a, you know, a, a try line stand. And there's a lot of discipline required there and a lot of technique as to how we defend the pick and go. And uh, it, pretty much, it pretty much worked, as you say. Yeah. Um, it just jumping in there, I have to talk about uh, Healy. I thought he was absolutely immense tonight, Graham. And um, we talked about him pre-show, you know, with Jack Crowley calling up to camp or whatever. Yeah. I just thought he controlled the game really, really well, and his kicking game was absolutely on point. Oh, did anything change in him this week? Did you have a conversation or anything, or just business as usual? Business as usual. You know, we've got a lot of strength in that area now. You've mentioned Jack. We've got Joey as well, and, and Rory. Rory can step up to ten as well. Um, it, what I like about it, Ben, he's, uh, he's calmness, a very calm man. For uh, such an inexperienced man in terms of years, very calm, good kicking game, and he, he gave us a lot of composure tonight, and he's adapted to Mike's new game, the, the new game plan we're, we're trying to play in terms of how we're challenging teams, so I'm chuffed for him. Graeme, just a last one for you. Head coach, big job. Uh, it's been a tough first block. Unbeaten against South Africa. Unbeaten against South Africa. Your record there, excellent. Uh, how has this period been for you? Because you must have had moments where this hasn't gone to plan. Have you had moments uh, of self-doubt or how has it been? Um, yeah, it's not gone to plan. No, um, I have full belief and I keep telling the lads whenever I can, when appropriate, in what we're doing. We've changed a lot. There's a lot of change happened at this, this club. Changed a lot in our environment, how we're training, our game plan. And I just see the body of work that we've done. It, you know, hard work tends to pay off and it, it's starting to come through. So it, it's just keeping the belief. Well, listen, congratulations. Enjoy this evening. Best of luck with the next uh, block of fixtures, but thank Here's you lots. for the time. Appreciate thank it. Graeme Rowntree. My pleasure. Thank you. Uh, with us this evening after, again, an amazing win for Munster against South Africa A. 20